What are the differences between the free and paid studio version of DaVinci Resolve? Find out in our in-depth video. Cinity, your digital cinema tech resource, supported by B and H and CVP. Hello, I'm Alex from Cinity, and in this video we're going to have an in-depth look at the differences between the free and paid studio versions of DaVinci Resolve. So why is the free version of DaVinci Resolve? This is pretty clever marketing on Blackmagic Design side. They lure you in with a free version of the program and then hope that you will either buy the full studio version or even get some of the hardware that exists uh, alongside it, like the editor keyboards, the grading panels or the speed editor. It sure worked with me if you have a look at my desk. Blackmagic Design says that they want the users to be able to create great content for free and then unlock further features once their skill set reaches a certain level and their production quality gets higher. So if I can get the program for free, why would I pay about $300 for the full version? Well, this is exactly what this video is for. We're going to tell you what the differences are and why it might be worth for you to pay for the full version. Now we're going to go through the DaVinci Resolve interface via the different pages and have a look at the differences. First off is the media page. In here, you will find differences in the codecs that you can import into DaVinci Resolve. The free version already supports a lot of them, but these ones here can only be used in the studio version. A very useful feature that you can find only in the studio version is a neural engine AI feature, which is face detection. Here you can automatically organize clips by faces of different actors. So this will be especially useful if you have a large project with many people on camera. Let's move on to the edit page. Here in the free version, the timeline resolution is limited to Ultra HD. In the studio version, you can have larger timelines. Two inspector features that can only be found in the studio version are Smart Reframe, which is a function that allows you to reframe shots if you, for example, change over the aspect ratio from a horizontal view to a vertical view. Smart Reframe will then try and find the subject and reframe the vertical video in a way that the subject is always at the center. Another one is lens correction for getting rid of spherical lens distortions and other aberrations. An incredibly useful tool, especially when dealing with lots of interview footage, is the auto transcription feature. This will analyze the audio of a clip and automatically transcribe it, allowing you to edit by text from the text box. The next page in the DaVinci Resolve workflow is the color page. And in here, we can find most of the differences between the free and the paid versions. One tool, for example, that has proven to be very useful is the Magic Mask tool, which is only available if you pay your $300. Magic Mask will allow you to easily mask out persons or objects and uh, trace them throughout the shot. So no need for long winded rotoscoping anymore, which is great. Another difference are the HDR tools. These are great for fine tuning your grade and of course, if you have to export HDR footage. The studio version also has advanced spatial and temporal noise reduction features. The temporal noise reduction will look at the differences between frames and then try and get rid of the noise, while the spatial noise reduction looks at the frame and looks at neighboring pixels and then decides whether this pixel is noise or should be left in the frame. On the color page, there are many tools that are only available in the studio version. There are too many to get into right now. You can see some of them right here. I will just mention some. For example, the ability to import DCTLs. DCTL stands for DaVinci Color Transform Language, which is a language that allows you to create your own plugins and tools. But this is only available in the studio version. The Relight feature lets you set up virtual light sources in a scene. The depth map feature analyzes the frame for different depth layers and allows you 
to manipulate the different layers individually. For creating a more filmic look, you might also want to have features such as the halation tool or the film grain tool. Both are only available in the studio version. The next page in the DaVinci Resolve workflow is the fusion page, which allows you to create animations, uh, you can use it for compositing and many other things. Here, the differences are not that many. So actually, the Fusion page is already very usable in the free version. You can do pretty much anything that uh, Fusion has to offer. The only features to be found only in the Studio version are VR features and the ability to control scripts from local or remote machines. Next, we move on to the Fairlight page, where we have our audio controls. One very useful AI feature to be found here is the auto classification of sound clips. The neural engine analyzes sound clips and will put them into bins according to their content. So if it, for example, can tell that a clip is a dialogue, sound effect or music, it will put it in the corresponding bin. Another audio feature only found in the studio version is voice isolation. This is a handy little tool to get rid of unwanted background noise or hums on your voice track. You can read up on the other differences in the Fairlight page in our article on the topic. In the last page of our workflow, in the delivery page, we can find some major differences between the free and the paid versions. The free version will only allow us to output a maximum of Ultra HD at 60 frames per second. If you need to use higher resolutions and up to 120 frames per second, then you need the studio version. So, as you can see, the free version of DaVinci Resolve already offers up a lot of functionality to get you started. Then, once you get used to the program and need some more of the features, you can always upgrade to the full version. Follow our YouTube channel for more DaVinci Resolve content, like quick tips and some more in-depth features like this one. See you soon. Bye-bye.